Whether you're hitting the road or kicking back in the cab, it's time to take a load off with Big Rig Banter. Powered by AllTruckJobs.com, your source for finding the trucking jobs drivers really want. Get ready to shift into gear and let the conversations roll. All right, hello and welcome truckers. The date is July 17th, and this is the 34th episode of Big Rig Banter. I'm your co-host, Troy Diffenderfer. And I'm your favorite co-host, Lene Roll. And Lene, how are you doing today? I'm pretty good, trying to stay awake. It's a little rainy outside. I know, it is crappy here, truckers. We hope you guys are driving through. You guys and gals are driving through some good weather right now. It's definitely really dreary here, and I think we both just want to take a nap at this point. Yeah, yeah, the rain uh, pounding on the (laughs) windows is like luring me to sleep all day. But I do have some exciting news to wake you up, Lene. We have the return of a special guest coming up here soon. Actually, I think next week we will see his return. Oh, yeah, a special guest, and who might that be? That is the one and only Troy Thunder. You might have... I know, you might, you might have seen him on the viral Facebook video, Troy Thunder, giving his workout routines, and uh, I don't want to give too much away, but he's going to make his return in a, a little different uh, medium, that's for sure. Uh, for you listening, um, just to clarify what Troy Thunder is, it's just Troy in uh, really bad 80s workout clothes. Um yeah, and, and it's old news. That was, what, a year a year ago? I'm just kidding. It was a really good workout video with some good tips on how you can work out around your truck. Um, so if you want to see the original Troy Thunder, go check that out. And if you want to see the upcoming new and improved Troy Thunder, when, when where can they find that, Troy? Uh, keep Real an Troy. Eye, keep an eye on our Facebook page, uh, uh, Facebook and Twitter. It will shortly be going up on social media within the next few weeks so make sure to keep an eye out on that and of course give us some feedback use the hashtag big rig banter we want to know what you think of it should troy thunder be a mainstay uh should he take a much longer hiatus this time (laughs) yeah i can't wait to see what he does next all right and speaking of reviving old news Back in December, uh, we did an episode, Tracking Trends of 2019, where we looked at the top five things that we thought drivers should keep an eye on for the year. Now that we're midway through the year, let's do a little touch point and see where those things stand today. Yeah, Lene, it's weird. In that same episode, we were talking about our New Year's resolutions, and you said that you were going to be nicer to me. So let's uh, uh, check in no, with that let, first. Let's re-listen to that. I don't, <laughs> I don't really think that's how it went down. <laughs> what do you have, Lene? Yeah, so one of the um, big things that we talked about in December was actually a court case where a truck driver had sued a trucking company, um, and it actually made it to the Supreme Court. So that was truck driver Dominic Oliveira, and he was suing New Prime. Um, And he was essentially saying that he wasn't even making minimum wage because of deductions and everything that were coming out of his paycheck. Um, So that court, I mean, that case actually made it to the Supreme Court, and is going through the process. There's so far been no resolution yet, according to Jennifer Bennett, who's the attorney or one of the attorneys on the case. Um, But they are meeting for mediation in November, which is basically just like an informal meeting to try to um, take a step closer to reaching a resolution. So I would say everyone just keep an eye out on that because that could definitely impact um, what happens with truck driver pay going forward. It's crazy to see these uh, Supreme Court cases get drawn out so long and I mean these things can take often years. Yeah I know I actually uh, you know asked um, Jennifer you know if it could draw out into the next year she thinks they'll make you know reach a resolution this year what will happen so we'll have to wait and hear back from her on that but so far it's probably just (laughs) a game of wait and see. Awesome and in that same episode, I talked with Dean Croak. He was from Freight Waves. We had a really good conversation that touched on a bunch of different points. Um, at one point, he said, I think there will be some wrinkles that need to be ironed out as people move towards the end of 2019 and become compliant completely with ELDs. And, you know, we were talking about the upcoming date, that right. it's 
the December deadline, December 16th, 2019, for every vehicle to have the new ELDs in place. And just this past Monday, Freight Waves actually came out with a study that was really interesting, and it compared the um, compliance between national and regional fleets. And it basically just says that when it comes to regional fleets, about 81% of trucks are currently compliant. And then when it comes to nationwide, about 88% are compliant. So, you know, I think 80, 80 or 90% is pretty good. There is six months left. But um, I think they a lot of the points that were made in the article were saying that um, some of these smaller fleets, it's just financially not uh, possible to implement every ELD right away into their rigs. But again, there's that leeway, and they have been giving a deadline, so it'll be interesting to see um, how this pans out. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, it's good to see that the numbers are so high. I would be curious to know if uh, the like or dislike buttons on those uh, uh-huh. <laughs> ELDs, uh, where they stand um, at now that they're being implemented pretty much across the board. Maybe uh, if uh, anyone listening has a reaction to their current ELD status, you can reach out to us, hashtag Big Rig Banner, and just let us know how that's been working out for you. For sure. And Lene, what else do you got? I know you spoke with someone else uh, on that podcast episode as well. So two of the other trends that came up in our episode in December were um, the idea that there might be more home time for drivers and just kind of changing the job description. I guess you could say uh, for truck drivers to just kind of steer away from that being on the road all the time and barely being at home and trying to make it more friendly for for more millennials or people who want, you know, more of a home life balance. I mean, homework (laughs) balance. (laughs) And um, I would say that that trend is is standing true. Uh, For what I've seen from companies um, posting jobs on all truck jobs, we're seeing a lot more uh, benefits that center around getting people home for longer holiday um, bonuses and things like that. So there are, you know, companies making a lot of changes to make the career less of, you know, oh, you're going to be on the road all the time and never see your family. And you were actually working on a video with our video team that kind of highlights some of those benefits. Can you tell uh, our uh, listeners more more about that? Yeah, we, we did make a video, actually one of the first videos we made um, you, that you can find on our All Truck Jobs uh, page is about the benefits. And there we just kind of pulled some really unique benefits that we had found, like um, different companies that cover tuition like 100% for drivers and their family, like all kinds of crazy stuff. So you can go over to All Truck Jobs YouTube page and check that out. Awesome. And then another point that Dean had made, um, one of his quotes I pulled from that episode was, quote, there's no secret that there's a global slowdown currently happening, end quote. So I wanted to take a deeper dive into that. Um, He mentioned oil prices. He thought that oil prices would decrease over time, and actually they've increased, um, not by a whole lot, but um, I think both Lene and I can tell at the gas pump that prices have definitely increased. Yeah, yeah, I've definitely noticed that, especially this summer. You're like, oh, let's go to the beach for the day or not. (laughs) Yeah, so again, uh, we can't really make any strong correlations there. It could definitely be a timing thing. Obviously, more people are traveling over the summer, which means the demand goes up. But... um, I definitely am interested to check in with it um, come December. And then he was also saying how the shipping rates would decrease um, simply just because the amount of shippers and the amount of truckers there, and it would kind of decrease. And he was spot on there. We're definitely seeing a decrease um, in shipping rates, which I think is good for all of us. Obviously, um, cheaper the goods, the cheaper the prices on the shelves in many cases. But, um, Lene, you did have a good point about um, maybe the overabundance of drivers affecting yeah, some I mean, things. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you see uh, freight, um, the freight demand going down, um, now you have a lot of drivers that are sitting there and companies that are trying to figure out how to keep those drivers on the road. So that's not necessarily a good thing um, from that perspective. But hopefully, you know, things will pick back up again. I'm not sure. Um, what causes that to go down, but that's definitely been something I've seen in the news in the past two weeks or so. The reality of it is that trucking is still, you know, top dog. It's still one of the most important industries we have in this country. So, um, 
Yeah, I mean, I say whether oil prices go up or down, you know, the trucks will keep going <laughs> no matter how much it costs, right? For sure. And I'm just still blown away that we're already halfway through this year. It seems like time's been flying by. I know you'll be married soon. I know. I'll be married soon. And oh, boy. more. I know more <laughs> things to come. Um, we'll definitely be doing a 2020 Trucking Trends episode in the future. And truckers, we hope you listen to that as well. And don't forget this wonderful podcast is powered by All Truck Jobs. For more trucking resources, visit alltruckjobs.com. And again, truckers, if you're looking for a new job assignment, make sure to check out our website. Yeah, I was just going to say, too, um, you know, we're here kind of reading the paper just like you guys are. But, you know, um, y'all are out there on the road. So if there are changes that you've noticed, uh, hashtag Big Rig Banner. uh, Just chat with us on Twitter and let us know, you know, what what big changes are you seeing out there on the road, even if it's, uh, I know there's issues with parking, um, the truck stops, so anything at all that you think is is something worth uh, talking about on the show, uh, give us a shout. For sure. And once again, truckers, we thank you. Um, keep listening. Uh, keep an eye out for some Troy Thunder in your future. Leave us a review. Exactly. Leave us a review <laughs> of Troy Thunder as well. Right. <laughs> but uh, I'm your co-host, Troy Diffenderfer. And I'm your favorite co-host, Lene Rule. And this has been Big Rig Banter. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Big Rig Banter. For your next job, check out alltruckjobs.com, the premier online source for finding the best driver jobs in the country. Browse hundreds of positions by freight or driver type to get back on the road with confidence. Click subscribe to keep the conversations coming. Until next time on Big Rig Banter.